Well, we are in the middle of reindeer country. No sign of Rudolph yet. I saw some sheep and blueberries, but look at that view. The camera doesn't do it justice. <laughs> and everywhere you see signs of life. <sighs> everywhere. And he just keeps on surviving. There's basically nothing out here. I found a lot of blueberries and... You see here, there's red patches of... It's astonishing. Just in the middle of basically nowhere. Norwegian mountains, there's... Still so much plant life and this place is tough when it when the weather turns bad this place is rough so this is me on a good day just a shirt on it's actually pretty warm that can change within 20 minutes then it's not so fun anymore and uh, out here you'll be in big trouble you don't have a cabin to go back to. Um, Norwegian mountains are actually pretty dangerous. If you make a mistake and don't prepare, you can get into a situation very easy that probably is going to take your life. But uh, so you have to take some precautions. Don't wander aimlessly away from the cabin. Uh, there is no cell reception, no internet. So we use an, use an old Nokia telephone, which we can call out. If not that big rock there, you can get signals from or around. And um, that's basically it. Uh, it's the only place with service. I wasn't able to call, but I managed to send a text message just to let my girlfriend know we were okay. We almost went down with the boat yesterday. A uh, little plug in the boat went out just 15 meters from the dock there. And the uh, whole thing filled with water within like 30 seconds. Not fun. Um, but anyway, this is Hemsedal, Norway. And uh, it is truly something to witness this. The camera doesn't do it justice at all. Uh, see these little mountain formations, they look small on the camera, but just look around, it is anything but tiny, wow, just this little mountain formation here, it looks pretty close. It's probably a few kilometers away. And walking in this terrain, no fun at all. So, this is a learning experience for me. Uh, haven't fished a lot in freshwater, and uh, the water is so clear, it's ridiculous. Um, Still, there's no fish, even though every year they put out about 3,000 of them. Uh, that's been 
<clears throat> made in a hatchery and they put it out here in this big lake uh, to keep the, the trout tribe flourishing. But right now the trout doesn't want to bite and uh, can't really do anything about that. But, you know, the, the camera doesn't do this justice at all. It looks so made up. You, you have to see this for yourself. It, it's... Uh, the camera makes it look small and ridiculous. Now, I would bet to walk up to that hill would take me easily seven hours. <laughs> it's incredible. And it's a new learning experience. Like for PER fishing adventures. We have to try new things. We have to get out of our comfort zone and dare to try new things that are, we're not good at. Like for instance, in my case, freshwater fishing. Gotta learn it, gotta learn it. I've been fishing in seawater for 15 to 18 years, but freshwater fishing is new to me. So you gotta learn the tricks. And what better way to do that than up here in Norwegian mountains? Wow, the, the, um, I'm videoing this from a iPhone and, and it doesn't really do it justice. It is incredibly beautiful and so vast. And I found blueberries and down there, there are some sheep walking around. Still no reindeer and still no trout. So, back to the cabin for some coffee and dinner. <laughs>